Hey guys, Steven here. It's, it's just a... It's been a rainy Friday for me. I don't know if you can hear this, but fans going on pretty much too. It's a bit noisy over here. There's a punk. Just chilling. Like a good old villain. So today I'm going to be giving y'all guys... Another story. Not Reno Part 3. I think, I think it's Reno Part 3 that's coming out next. Just, it won't be right now. It's not Reno Part 3 yet. But this... I'm not sure if this story will or will not have Reno in it. We'll just have to... See what happens. This story will be the, the time I passed out at baseball practice right before I went into first grade. Golly, I, clear, I need to clear my throat. <coughs> Alright, there we go. So it was just a good old day in baseball. At, well, at practice. Well, if that fan's gonna be a bit noisy, I, I can go to my room. But as long as I'm over here, I can just go into the, this story. There's Brownie. Hey, Brownie. Now, on to the story. It was just a good old. Hot, sunny day, unlike today, of baseball, at baseball practice. There's a baseball field not too far from us. So yeah, I was over there. Yes, I see you, Brownie. She, I guess she wants to be in the video, too. So yeah, let's, let's do this. That means she cares for y'all guys. She's actually antisocial, by the way. She's the antisocial one. No, don't distract me, Brownie. <coughs> Man, in every video I keep coughing. So, it was a hot and sunny day, unlike today. And we were just going on. Going good with practice. And I don't know if you heard that, but that was Brownie. But anyways, just going along with with practice. It was probably like 100 something degrees or around 90 degrees. I don't remember the what the temperature was since this has been a really long time. I'm 15 now. That happened when I was 6. Yeah, that's, my, that's just my guess. So, I was just chilling along. Didn't even need to grab the ball at all. <clears throat> Except for this one time. This one kid was trying to dive for the vault for the ball and get it but I got it for him and threw it back. <sighs> so anyways I, I just I was just standing there since the ball was like out of my areas. And I think while this was going on there was like a a home run at practice. But Brownie, don't distract me. Thank you. Okay, so I was, we were just going along, just enjoying ourselves. Next thing I know is I start to fall forwards to the ground, awake. But then, 
I hit the ground and pass out. And I do know some grass got into my mouth, which was pretty disgusting. <laughs> Next thing I knew, one of the coaches flipped me over and asked me if I, if I was alright, and I meant to say yes, but instead I said no, which I probably shouldn't have. Which led to the to the future of this day. And my mom went on to the field and asked me if I was alright. And, and I was gonna, going to say yes, but I said no again. Well, I just scared Brownie off. And she's back on the porch. Good, so she won't distract us anymore. They tried to stand me up, but it was impossible to do that. So they carried me over to this table and gave me... You know, the little bottle cap, a little bottle cap of water, which wasn't enough. Golly, people, just give some of the bottle to me, not just the little bottle cap. I think it was Gatorade that they gave me. Anyways, I looked up, saw the, the ambulance here. So me and my mom got in it, and they took us down to a, a hospital. I'm not telling y'all where this hospital is anyway, so it's no one else's business to know where I am. Ooh, look at that. Look at this thing. I don't Oh, you can, you can actually see it. It's like the Great Smoky Mountains. Now back on to the story. We were... We were Rushed to the hospital. Later that day, my my dad caught up with me and my mom over there. <clears throat> and we we just stayed in the room all day, which was pretty boring. So, anyways. I don't think y'all are, are going to like this part, but they gave me the first IV I've ever gotten. Shut up! Which was, was not fun. Then we had to wait for some results. Then I was able to, you know, go back home. Later that night, I just, I, I was greeted by Reno. Everyone's favorite dog, Reno. A good little companion. <coughs> Shut up! Later that day, I went to bed, all hydrated. Then the next day was the first day of first grade. <sighs> so yeah. I had to bring a little sippy cup with me. Just to stay hydrated through the day. Well, if y'all enjoyed this story and you want to hear more, or and you like this, I have two more passing out stories you'll get to hear. One of them was in 8th grade and the other was in ninth grade. <coughs> Plus I, I still have, I'm still trying to get more stories for y'all guys. Maybe I can get Reno part 3 done with. We can actually have it out.
I want to film it pretty soon. Alright, subscribe, thumbs up, I'll talk to y'all later.